Hello viewers, welcome back. So this is part 13 of our series of session on Tally's release 3.0, where we are covering the GST module. In this session, we will understand how we can handle additional charges or, for example, additional charges could be freight charges or packing charges, which should form part of the transaction value. At the same time, GST also allows to reduce the value of discount for calculation of transaction value. So we will see how these things can be handled in tally and make sure that we are levying tax on the proper transaction value. Let's go to tally and explore this option of managing additional cost for transaction value for GST purpose. As per GST law, when you are invoicing, if you are levying any additional charges in the invoice, those value should form part of the transaction value or accessible value. The law also provides the facility of deducting any amount of discount you offer on the face of the invoice. So let us see now how we can handle this kind of a situation when you are raising a tax invoice. We will take a use case that in this case, the dealer is leaving additional charge on packing charges and is also offering some discount. So in this context, we will see what is the final transaction value on which the GST is going to be levied. And we will also see how Tally is managing this use case for you to be compliant with the GST law. I have one item which is laptop and if you see here the rate of GST is 18%. The second item printers again the rate of GST is 18%. So let us see once the dealer is raising an invoice for these two items with an additional charge of packing charges and also providing discount. We are in the sales invoice. Let us say the invoice is made to a customer. This nature of transaction is intrastate transaction as the customer is in the same state of the dealer. I'm going to select sales ledger, enter, select the item, laptop, let us say two numbers, 50,000. The second one is printers, two numbers, 20,000. Now he has to levy packing charges for this in the invoice. So we have to create a ledger called packing charges. So how do we create it? Just press Alt C or when you press space bar, the ledger that you want to select is not created already. You can come here and then click on create and let us create packing charges. Now one important configuration that you have to enable here for you to form the value of this packing charge as part of the transaction value is press F12 configure. And if you notice here on the right hand side under the tax detail, you have this option called include additional ledger value to calculate accessible value. So we are going to come here and then set this as yes, enter and press Ctrl A. The packing charge is going to be part of the direct expenses. Enter. Inventory values are affected? No. Include in accessible value calculation for what kind of compliance we want. Since we have enabled GST, we are getting the list of duty and tax type. Select GST. And now it is going to ask you, how do you want to appropriate the value? Goods or services and goods and services. When you select goods, it will ask you, what is the method of appropriation? Do you want to appropriate based on the quantity in the invoice or do you want to appropriate based on the value? If you select services, in case of services, you are not going to have any quantity. So obviously it is going to calculate based on value. Third option is goods and services. When you select goods and services, again, it is going to select the method of calculation based on value. First, let us select goods, enter. And here we will say that we want the appropriation or the method of calculation should be based on value. Enter. And the moment you enable any value to be included as part of accessible value, then GST applicability will automatically become not applicable. Now accept this. So what is the value of packing charge we are going to levy? Let us say it is 
5000 enter and now the dealer would also want to provide some discount on the invoice for the customer so again press space bar we don't have the ledger called discount go up enter and then say discount allowed or discount whatever is the nomenclature you want to specify this normally is part of your indirect expenses enter now again we are going to say yes i want to include the value for gst calculation enter when you select goods you have the option whether you want to appropriate by value or quantity we will select based on value enter and accept now here you can directly enter the amount of discount or you can specify the percentage of discount also important thing that you have to remember since it is a discount it has to reduce the value from the transaction value so in such case if we are allowing let's say 10 percent discount then you just say minus 10 percent and tally would automatically calculate it is not considering the additional value of packing charges on the base value of 1 lakh 40 thousand you will see that 14,000 at the rate of 10% discount is also levied and the net total is 131. On this, we are now going to levy GST. So select CGST, enter and tally would automatically calculate the tax. If it is not calculating, you know that you have to check the configuration of your master. The other one is SGST. So the amount is calculated. We want to see now how tally has calculated this amount of 11,790 for each of the taxes for you to see the calculation we have this option called related report click on related report and we have this option gst tax analysis if you remember the keyboard shortcut alt a you can always press alt a to view the competition information so i'm going to select here tally is going to give you this tax analysis when you press alt f5 detail you will get the complete detail of the method that tally is adopted based on your configuration for calculation of packing charges and discount so let us quickly see one item here the item laptop it says source of gst rate detail is come from the company which we had configured at the company level and the source of hsn is also come from company now what is the item value or the sale value is 1 lakh rupee now packing charges we had charged 5000 rupees for both the item so it will take 5000 rupees divided by the total amount multiplied by the value of the item that is the laptop which is 1 lakh so the result is 3571.43 is being appropriated for the item laptop in the same way the second one if you see here it is again calculated the total value of 5000 divided by 1 lakh 40000 multiplied by the value of the printer which is 1004 28.57 the next one we had provided a discount of 10 percent on the total value which comes to 14,000 on 14,000 again the same calculation is applied discount amount is 14,000 divided by total value of the invoice multiplied by the value of the item you get 10,000 rupees as discount for laptop similarly the same type of calculation is done for printer which is 4,000 now 1 lakh plus 3571.43 minus 10,000 the taxable value is now 93,571.43 on this value tally is levied 9% GST on central tax that is 8,421 and 9% 9 on SGST 8,421 so the net tax is 16,842.86 for the item laptop and similarly for printer it is again considered 40 plus 1428.57 minus 4000 the net transaction value is 37,428.57 applied 9% 9% and the tax amount and the net tax amount totally is 16,842.86 plus 6,737.14 and that's how we are seeing the tax calculation on the face of the tax invoice just press escape and 1179 1179 enter and now save this we have now created a tax invoice with an additional cost and also discount considered for 
transaction value to compute GST. In this example, we saw that both the item have the same rate of GST. So tally is calculated accordingly, but there might be a doubt in your mind that what if I have two item which has two different GST rate and how tally is going to manage the calculation. So let us quickly pass another transaction to see how tally automatically applies the same principle just now we saw. So let's make another entry to the same customer sales ledger. So you're going to select laptop, say again, two numbers, 50,000. The next item say is monitor, which is 28%. So I'm going to select monitor. I've already created the item enter. I'll go back and for you to see the master configuration, press control enter. And you will see here this item is created. Whereas we have specified for this item that we want to specify the detail here. Since 18% is specified at the company level, if you don't specify the detail here, which we saw in the previous other two stock item, it automatically infers or inherits the rate that is specified at the company level. Now here the rate is changing. So when you come down here to the GST rate, similarly, you can specify the HSN also since the HSN is going to be different from the HSN that you have specified at the company level. You say specify detail here, enter and you can enter the HSN. When you come down to tax rate, again, you say specify detail here, enter. It is going to be taxable. And when you enter 28% at the IGST rate field, Tally will automatically split 50-50 between CGST and SGST. So save this control A and I'm going to say two numbers 25,000 enter 50,000. Now we are going to charge packing charges which is going to be say 10,000. Select discount enter the same percentage we are giving minus 10% enter. So on 1,50,000 we we are seeing that 15000 discount is also taken care now we are going to charge cgst amount is calculated automatically sgst amount is calculated automatically if you remember your keyboard shortcut for tax analysis press alt a tally will automatically open up the tax analysis press alt f5 for detail and the same thing is going to be applied so in this case packing charge 10000 we have charged total invoice value before taxes 150000 multiplied by the value of the item which is going to be 6,666.67 and 15,000 is the discount that we have allowed divided by 1,50,000 multiplied by the value 10,000 is the discount for laptop. So the net amount is going to be 96,666.67. The GST rate, the source for GST rate is picked up from the company level, which is 18% and it is levied 9 plus 9, 18%. The next item, we had specified the rate of GST at the stock item. So the source of GST rate is coming from the stock item, which is your monitor. HSN is also coming from the stock item. That's how you see the HSN is different here and the HSN for monitor is also different here. The same type of calculation. The sale value is 50,000. 10,000 divided by 150 multiplied by 50 is 3333.33 and again 15,000. 150 into 50 is 5,000. The net amount is 48333.33 on which 14% each GST is calculated. Press escape and that's how you see this amount of 15466.67 which is levied. So this way irrespective of the item that you are are invoicing and irrespective of the tax rate that has been specified for the item either at the company level or at the item level or maybe you can also specify the rate of GST at the transaction level where I had in one of my previous video, I had explained and shown how you can manage the GST rate at the voucher level also. I hope the examples that we saw in tally with regards to additional charges that are levied or discount would give you a fair idea of how you can utilize the feature of managing this additional cost and discount when you are making a tax invoice. So thank you all once again for staying till the end. See you all in the next session. Thank you very much.